Most gracious Heavenly Father, we do come to you today with thankful and open hearts, acknowledging you as our Lord and our Creator, thanking you for sending your Son to die for our sins, thanking you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon us. And on this day, Father, where we honor our fathers, we look to you as our Father in Heaven, that it was because you first loved us that we can truly learn how to love others. As fathers, not just the children that we have, but as Christians, Father, to each and every person, we know that you are no respecter of persons and that all are invited to you. So we pray, Father, that you continue to fill us with your love, that we might also show that love to those around us. We come to you, Father, knowing that even though you've given us a beautiful creation, it is tainted by sin and evil, and we see that in work in the world today, Father. We've seen mass shootings, uh, we've seen loss of life, uh, murders, we've seen wars, we see exiles leaving their countries because of wars. Father, it is still a dark place, but we know that in the midst of all this, your Son is still the light. And if we would just shed the dark and look to the light, Father, that we can have peace with you, that we can experience your grace and know that you have made a place for us, that you want each of us, which was created to glorify you, to come to you, to be with you. We pray, Father, for those who have suffered loss, that you will be the comforter for them, that you will bring peace to them, you will surround those who have lost and those who are suffering with those who will show them love and encouragement, and that somewhere in their life, Father, there is someone reflecting the light of Christ. We pray, Father, for our missionaries who go abroad and those that are here, that you will bless them in the delivery of the message, that hearts might be opened up, that the Spirit might work within them. We pray for our military personnel, for those who are deployed to foreign lands, Father, for those who give up the comforts of home to protect the freedoms that we have. And we are thankful, Father, that we have the freedom to worship you. Father, we ask that you be with us as a country as we move toward a time of election where we look for leaders that will represent us in our government. We pray, Father, that whoever they might occur in government, that you allow godly people to be making decisions. Please give us people, Father, who look to you first when they make decisions. We pray, Father, for each and every one that is here, as well as the other believers, that we stand up for you in all situations, and that we are a light to the world in everything we do. But when there are times that are tough, and it seems that we are suppressed or persecuted, we realize that your Son suffered first for us. And that, Father, in our suffering, that we can still be an example to those. That even if it's just one, that comes to you because of the life we live, then that life was worth living. We ask you again to be with us here at this time, Father. Bless our service together. Let us worship you and lift our hearts to you. We pray these things in your heavenly name, in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Amen.